This yellow-bellied sea snake washed up on Newport Beach on Tuesday. It was then transferred uh, via the lifeguards and animal control to the Pacific Marine Mammal Center, um, which recognized that it was a really significant find and then reached out to the museum uh, to make sure that it ended up here, um, where it can be added to our permanent collections and it can now be studied by scientists literally for centuries to come um, once we finish the preservation process. And this is a really significant find. This is only the fifth yellow-bellied sea snake um, ever documented on the coast of California. And the previous four yellow-bellied sea snakes that washed up yeah. washed up during El Nino events. This is the first sea snake to ever wash up outside of an El Nino event. The reason that that's especially significant is because as we think about oceans warming, we expect that some of the first species that are going to respond to the warming ocean are going to be the pelagic species, the species that are open water specialists. And in terms of snakes, this is this the other name for the yellow-bellied sea snake is the pelagic sea snake. Um, we also expect that things like pelagic birds uh, and pelagic species of fish are going to be some of the first species to respond. And that may very well be what we're seeing here. It's very interesting that we're finding this snake here in Southern California, outside of an El Nino year. And it may very well be that's associated with the warming ocean. And we'll only really know the answer to that question with time. Hopefully, um, people will be extra observant as they wander along California's beaches. And if they see something unusual, whether it might be a sea snake or whether it might be something else, take a photo, report it to a lifeguard, send that photo to the Natural History Museum. That can be done at uh, the email address of nature at nhm.org. And experts here can then figure out whether that's a significant find or not. And if so, we can make sure that it's permanently documented um, so that we can learn more about the changing ecosystems off the coast of Southern California.